What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We are the October. So guys, we checked out Marvel all the way up until phase three. We dove into the Spider-Verse, had a lot of fun there. Uh, hopped into X-Men, learned a lot about that, but we are finally back to WandaVision. Guys, we haven't seen her in 95 days. Right, that's 2,280 hours, 136,800 minutes, 8,208,000 seconds. I don't really know how you know that, but that is a long <laughs> time since we have seen you, Wanda. Guys, I'm so excited about it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want the full uncut reaction to these. So there's nine episodes, I think, in this series. They all range about like 35 minutes to 40 minutes or something. So I think we're going to knock out three in one sitting. Three-parter. So, yeah, we should knock this thing out pretty quick. It's yeah. only going to be a three-part series. So um, yeah, man, come join the journey. And if you haven't caught up, definitely go start from the beginning. I'd highly recommend it. Let's go. Let's go. Episode one. Oh, and Wanda is Magneto's daughter. There's Scarlet. We know that. Cat. Oh, I missed this. Ooh, this I is exciting. This. We're back in this. I miss the music. Like, uh, guys, I saw um, like when the title broke for Endgame, because, you know, I've watched a couple reactions at this point because I'm a big fan of the movie. <laughs> Good God, the music is just hitting. Okay. It's like, what, the 40s or the 50s up in here? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 50s sitcom we already know right <laughs> i'm just a little confused on how this is going to tie in though because vision is gone right that would be so nice oh <laughs> <laughs> flying sources my husband and his indestructible head aren't we a five pack <laughs> The irony in that statement, though, the indestructible head. Dollar pancakes. Absolutely. I say, oh, I don't eat food. Wonder. Hmm. Is there something special about today? No, I'm kind of confused as hell when I like this, though. Me too. Well, I like a sitcom. <laughs> I know. Today's day. Just embracing it. Oh, yes, the heart. Hmm. Well, don't tell me you have forgotten this. <clears throat> forgotten? I wonder. I'm incapable of forgetfulness. I remember everything. Oh, it's turning Well, they just got married, right? Yeah, well, right. Tell me what's so important about today's date. Oh, I guess they've been together a year. No, Maybe, I'm I don't know. <laughs> looking forward to it. A special day. Perhaps an evening. Of great significance. To us both. Naturally. Obviously. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, that's me off to work then. Do you think his lips are <laughs> soft though? Don't when pass. you kiss him, are they hard like metal? <laughs> oh yeah, you can't go out like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Have a good day, dear. Odell. <laughs> <laughs> Odell, baby. She's like, what was that? I, I really don't know. I love their living room. A blast from Hello, the past. Dear. I'm Agnes, your neighbor to the right. My mother-in-law was in town, so I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your most importantly, how's your bridge game, hon? <laughs> I'm Wanda. <laughs> Wanda. Did you use a moving company? I sure did. Those boxes don't move themselves. <laughs> but they do. <laughs> yeah, like you doing rattling around this big house. Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man, a human one and tall. As a matter of fact, he'll be home later tonight for a special occasion. Oh, is it somebody's birthday? An anniversary then? <laughs> yes, it's our anniversary. Oh. How many years? Well, it, it feels like we've always been together. She's Lucky stalling for time. <laughs> yeah, she the keeps like... Ralph Giving these answers. <laughs> so what do you have planned? How do you mean? <laughs> For your special night. Day. I was just reading a Cracker Jack magazine article called How to Treat Your Husband to Keep Your Husband. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't about to be nothing good in those magazines. So we did know that was Doc Ock, guys. We could tell by the voice. We could. Agnes, yeah. Agnes but, is Doc Ock. What are you Ock. talking about? <laughs> Agnes is Doc Ock in Across the Spider-Verse or Into the Spider-Verse, whichever one we watched. That little cartoon? They use real people for those? Do they really? They're not AI generated. Hey, the music isn't bothering you, is it, pal? In terms of distraction from work or the largely nonsensical nature of the lyrics? <laughs> is there something I can help you with, buddy? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Would you be so good as to tell me what it is we do here? Exactly? He's just working his job, has no idea what he does. <laughs> no. Right. Then what is the purpose of this company? All I know is since you've gotten here, productivity has gone up 300%. <laughs> yes, but what is Good it work. producing? Computational forms. And no one can process the data quite like you do, pal. You're like a walking computer. Well, I most <laughs> certainly am not. <laughs> He's hey, so offended. <laughs> what's got your feathers all ruffled? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm a tad on edge. You see, it appears there's something special about today. Special to Wanda, that's my wife. And gee, I can't for the life of me recall what it is. Wife and I are looking forward to this evening. Mr. Hart, of course. <laughs> oh, his name's Mr. Hart. Okay. Lady wife, Mrs. Hart. Employee dinners are a rite of passage for the new hire. Ah. Jones over there failed miserably. 
Isn't that right, Holmes? <laughs> the White five courses would be sufficient. It was a paltry excuse for entertainment. A string quartet? And then you had that embarrassing display of beatnik enthusiasm. I wore a turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I owe my success to being a keen judge of character. No skeletons in your closet, eh, Vision? I don't have a skeleton, sir. What an intimidating boss, right? I know. So we've got music covered, decor, wardrobe. <laughs> Oh, what about seduction techniques? Just out of curiosity, what does it say? <laughs> that you should stumble when you walk into a room so he can catch you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Any other tricks? You could point out that the death rate of single men is twice that of married men. Now that's romantic. <laughs> Vision resident. Wanda, darling. Vision sweetheart. Don't worry, dear. I have everything under control. Oh, no. <laughs> I must confess I'm really rather nervous. Well, you know, darling, I still get a little tongue-tied. After all this time. <laughs> an awful lot riding on this one, <laughs> Look, I think the best course of action is to impress the wife. And I think the best course of action is to impress the <laughs> husband. <laughs> <laughs> Until tonight, then, my darling. Until tonight. Dang, I'm gonna start using that. Until tonight, my darling. <laughs> Guys, I don't know why this junk's black and white, and I don't know why Is it feels like a 50 sitcom. Burning his toast? Try our new and improved Toastmate 2000. Set the dial and get the taste back into your toast. Sounded like Tony Stark's Top freaking heating suit heating up. <laughs> it says Stark on it. Oh, really? Yeah. All Stark. New Toastmate 2000 by Stark Industries. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Forget the past. This is your future. Seriously, when she turned it on, it made the mark sound. That boom. Here we are. How very atmospheric. What's going on here, Vision? You blow a fuse? Yo, that's Kitty from that 70s show. I know, right? She's perfect for this, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> She's really perfect for this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guess who? Oh, no. Wonder. Vision. <laughs> the meaning of this? <laughs> what is the meaning? This is the... Traditional Sokovian <laughs> hospitality. Uh, guess who? Oh, is that my host behind me? <laughs> Love you to make your acquaintance. See, I forgot to tell you, my wife is from Europe. Oh, how exotic. <laughs> you don't break bread with bullshit. Oh, gosh, Arthur. Have you no culture at all? <laughs> and that dress. Yes, it's, it's, it's so... So Kovian is what it is, yes. <laughs> Oh, the scarf on the. She's all like risque. <laughs> He's bringing the <laughs> boss home. What are you wearing? Why are they here? What are you wearing? Well, it's our anniversary. So I haven't dinner with the hearts, bro. <laughs> that man I'm through there is my boss, Mr. Hart. And his dear lady wife, Mrs. Hart. The heart on the calendar was an abbreviation. You move at the speed of sound, and I can make a pen float through the air. Who needs to abbreviate? I don't want to be but right now your boss and his wife are expecting a home cooked meal exactly any chance I, I mean you're the one for it covered strawberries for three ways <laughs> I might have a better idea yeah <laughs> nice that was clean you got this one though horizontally rather than vertically we can use twice the paper we can bill twice the cost <laughs> <laughs> you truly are a pioneer, but the, the, the larger purpose of the course is... Well, to analyze our input and our output. You're awfully dense, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's not explaining anything. Though. I know, it's so vague. <laughs> what kind of housewife would I be if I didn't have a gourmet meal for four just lying about the place? <laughs> oh, my! We haven't any tidbits or tartlets out here, nary a pig in a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Well, that's so kind of you, Mrs. Hart, but I'm sure she's absolutely fine in there. Well, thank you, Agnes. I think I've got it covered from here. Oh, are you sure, dear? <laughs> many hands make light work, and many mouths make good gossip. You're so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shall I just preheat the oven then, dear? That won't be necessary. Oh, lobster thermidor with mini mince meat turnovers to start, chicken a la king with twice cooked new potatoes for your second course, and steak Diane and mint jellies for your main. Do you set your own jellies, dear? Yes. Good girl. She said that it can be done in a snap like she was, like, messing with her. I don't know how serious we're supposed to be taking this. I know. But this is very strange. I like that lady, though. She's, like, goofy. It's funny. I'm trying to take it for what it is, but it's kind of bothering me. Like, what is it? Because we're it's confusing? Yeah, a little bit. A Wanda's in there. I'm just hanging in there, powers. guys. Hanging in there. The trash. <sighs> or you will get no spending cash. <laughs> if you don't scrub the kitchen floor. 
Yeti, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't talk that. Oh, yeah, she, we watched Andre. <laughs> she just started dancing that distracted her. <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't we have a nice sing along all together then? This is the entertainment. That guy had a quartet and got fired. <gasps> right. Oh no, too much. <laughs> hey. Oh no, not enough. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. <laughs> and on that farm he had a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Wanda. <laughs> oh, what was I supposed to do next? Oh, what was the main course again? It was steak. Diane! Yes? Oh, I think that must be my wife summoning me. She calls you Diane? <laughs> <laughs> it's her pet name for me. She's coming! Fred. Why? You know, are strange. Because she's got some strange customs. He's about to get fired. <laughs> Look at those lobsters. <laughs> Why did she throw them out the window? <laughs> It says here I can cut down the prep time with a meat tenderizer. Where's the tenderizer? I'm looking at him. Who in oh. there? Who ah, back to you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> Starved is more like it. My head is, is starting to feel woozy. <laughs> <laughs> Were either of you aware that married men are killing single men at an alarming rate? <laughs> <laughs> That's so wrong. What's going on in there? Hopefully it's Agnes the same thing. Yes. Oh, you didn't answer the back door for your upside down cake. Hi. Uh... He put an apron on. Did you hear that? My wife's head is spinning. Generally speaking, I don't like her head to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but from what I've seen here tonight. Nice. Really keep it together. Now what are we going to eat? Dinner is served. <laughs> oh. Breakfast for dinner. How very uh European. No, that's American. I do that. Let's have a yeah, we do. To my lovely and talented wife. To our esteemed guest. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> well, please eat before it gets cold. Mm. What brought you here? How long have you been married? And why don't you have children yet? <laughs> Dang, she's grilling them. <laughs> I know. They don't have any answers, do they? Uh, I think what my wife means to say is that we we, we, we moved from mum and we were married. Yes, yes, we were married. In... <laughs> married when? No, patients are, th they're setting up their story. Let them tell it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what exactly is your story? Oh, just leave the poor kids alone. Well, really, I mean, I think it's a perfectly simple question. <laughs> she why? just doesn't have any clue. Damn it, why? Why did you... Oh, snap. Oh, is this where it gets serious? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, I don't think it's stop it. I think he's for stop real. It. Stop it. Bro, they can save him too, but geez. Oh, my gosh. This stop is creepy. It. Vision, help him. Oh. Nice, Vision. <laughs> now that guy's going to, like, love him, right? Because it saved his life. Either that or get suspicious of him. You think he's seen that? Why was she acting like that, though? I don't know. It was, like, so creepy. Would you look at the time? You better be going. <laughs> we had such a lovely time. This guest is leaving your home. <laughs> the tradition. <laughs> you made me proud tonight, son. Monday morning, you and me are going to have a little chat. We'll see about that promotion, huh? Oh, let's go. Yes, that impressed him. Yeah, I really he, didn't think that. <laughs> he didn't mention the fact that he, like, stuck his hand literally into Look at the throat. lobster. Look at the lobster. <laughs> Slovakian. What a charming door knocker. <laughs> Good, <night. laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> we are an unusual couple, you know. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. <laughs> we don't have an anniversary. Huh. Or a song. Well, we could rather do that. Today could be our anniversary. Of what? Surviving our first dinner party? Precisely. And our song could be? Yak the Yak, naturally. Naturally. <laughs> That's terrible. And the rings? Well, couldn't you make some for us? Yeah, just snap one. Nice. I do. Wouldn't that be sick if you could do that? Mm hmm Yes. I do. Aww. And they lived happily ever after. But, like, why? Why yeah, are y'all in this? It. Why are y'all here? <laughs> So the comments said that to keep in mind that this took place after Endgame not very long. So well, like, our friend Jay told us that. Yeah, yeah, Jay did actually. Is it? All right, next one. No, we gotta wait. What? Yeah, that's weird. So it's like new technology though, you see? 
they were in like a like a broadcasting station. Like that was a TV yeah, show. Yeah, but that was that like, whole thing played out like a sitcom. And they there was that commercial. And then check this right here. This music is so intense and like this isn't fitting the vibe of that sitcom at all. This is confusing, but I'm intrigued. Is there any end screens or anything? No, just a whole lot of people to give credit to for this season season one episode two. Don't touch that dial. My lead in theory right now is that. After Endgame, maybe something happened. Like, maybe there's, like, a new, like, bad guy, right? Yeah. And maybe, like, she's being held prisoner by him, and she's, like, and he's, like, putting, like, these false visions in her head, and she's, like, built this whole world to, like, protect herself right. or something. I don't know, guys. I'm just shooting off the top of the I mean, dome you here, know, the last thing we saw was that Spider-Man movie where he does that. The, he, he projects things. Yeah. Sense, yeah. <gasps> what was that? Are you using your powers to turn on the light? Yes, dear. What do you see? Only your lovely rose bushes. Are you using your night vision vision? I assure you, my love, I see nothing amiss. You have absolutely no reason to be... No! <laughs> Actually, I did overhear a couple of lads at work remarking on a few unsavory characters settling in the neighborhood. Now, who knows what those ne'er-do-wells might be up to? Walking through walls, moving objects without touching... Oh, they were talking about Suggesting my colleagues were referring to us. No, oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> one of us should really determine the source of that sound. Yes, one of us should. <laughs> I'm going to take a look. <laughs> Is that branch? It's always a branch knocking on the window. And look how you seized on the opportunity to redecorate. This is better, isn't it? Mm. Dang. Wonder Dog, get the light. <laughs> Let's go. Good for them. They got married, shacked up. So this is like the Jeffersons or something, right? Where they're flying around. I have no idea. I thought that was the Jetsons. I don't know. Is that what it is? Because <laughs> he doesn't eat or drink things. Ladies and gentlemen, for my final trick, I bring you the Cabinet of Mystery. Yes, darling, that's your cue. Did you say Cabinet of Mystery? I said the Cabinet of of mysteries. Oh, that's my cue. Holy Toledo. So we're working on magic tricks? <laughs> they said a talent show. <laughs> are you kidding? Fred and Linda are building a moat in a fully functioning portcullis and no one even knows why. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh yes, watch closely as I, illusion master of enigma, make my captivating assistant glamour disappear. <laughs> you really are very dashing. Thank you, darling. <laughs> not glamour, for I illusion vow to bring you back exactly as you are. <gasps> Abra Cadabra! Ta ta! Are you not at all worried that the audience might just see through this little charade? They had a door. <laughs> In a real magic act, everything is fake. Oh, he wants the to like. The fundraiser is the most important event of the season, and it's our neighborly duty to participate. Plus, it's our chance to appear as normal as possible while doing so. Well, I don't think that should be a problem. Do what freaking neighborhood did this they move into? I'm trying to know. see it. I want us to fit in. Oh, darling, we do. And we're gonna knock their socks off, especially with you wearing this. <laughs> well, that's actually the rest of your costume. Well, I better get going if I'm gonna make the planning committee meeting. There's a gathering of the neighborhood watch at the public library, and after last night's excitement, <laughs> I want to make sure this town's security is up to snuff. You tell those tree branches who's boss. <laughs> Would you look at us? Wonder and vision, Westview veterinaries. <laughs> I'll see you at curtain call. <laughs> I like them together more now. Maybe it's the 50s vibe that's doing it for you. Whoa. Whoa. That thing's saturated. I know. You think she's just like hella confused like what that color is? Yeah. Because it's got to be like a symbol or mean something. I'm assuming she forgot what color looked like. What? Yo, that's that little symbol. The little sword. Of the broadcast. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, I brought my pet rabbit for your magic act. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Senor Scratchy just loves the stage. Oh, morning, Dennis. Morning, Agnes. <laughs> Stick him up. Oh, don't shoot. I'm just a messenger. <laughs> <laughs> so corny. <laughs> <laughs> They've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's out? 
<laughs> that lady is funny. Are you ready to meet Queen Cul-de-sac and her merry homemakers? Agnes, Cody can't be as bad as you say. Well, you'll notice her roses bloom under penalty of death. Can I give you a bit of friendly advice? Is it about the way I'm dressed? Yes, but it's too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> Dottie is the key to everything in this town. Country club memberships, parties, school admissions. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You get in with Dottie and it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. Or maybe I could just be myself, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wanda, that's good. Wow. <laughs> she didn't even get to care about that helicopter, though. That lady just walked up and distracted her. That lady's kind of overwhelming. I know, that's what I'm saying. She's she's suspicious. <laughs> the Rotary Club is finishing the stage setup as we speak. They've given the gazebo a fresh coat of paint. <laughs> she's copying her. The final decorations all through the town square. And if you recognize the antique footlights, it's because they're from my store. <laughs> and the chairs? I'm sorry, Dottie. I didn't ask about the chairs. So you better not ask me if you can chair any committees in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. The devil's in the details, Bev. That's not the only place he is. As you all know, <laughs> the talent show is the sole fundraiser for Westview Elementary. This might help. In the eight years since I've been found <laughs> this event has gotten bigger. Those I'm pants are peachy keen. Do you really think so? The other ladies are in skirts. I was worried. We only have a few hours until showtime, so a little less cross chatter and a little more focus. <laughs> okay. All That's just in their neighborhood? The it's children. so annoying. It's so professional. For the children. <laughs> I want you all to give yourselves a big hand at the appropriate time. <laughs> but first, let's review event etiquette. She's got an English biscuit in her mouth. Is upscale garden the only reason I didn't clap is because I'm afraid to move. <laughs> I'm starting to feel that way myself. I'm Wanda. I'm uh, Geraldine. I'm irritated. <laughs> Why are y'all doing that? <laughs> Tickets for tonight are completely sold out. Now you can clap. <laughs> and stop. How is anybody doing this sober? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's a public library? That's nice. That's in their town? Yeah. Pardon me, is this a neighborhood watch meeting? I have vision. D didn't expect to see you here. This is sort of a members only type deal. I'll just stay here and. Be as quiet as a church mouse till you open up the floor for new business. <laughs> well, in truth, we were just getting to new business. Could you tell me how often you rotate security patrols? Do you interface directly with local law enforcement? What are your protocols regarding threats such as burglary, graffiti, and reckless driving? New business actually means another round of Danish. <laughs> <laughs> or the guy that got fired. The guy that got fired. Oh, neither for me, thank you. I don't eat food. <laughs> junk food, junk food. In between meals, but at meal times, woof, I'm a regular eater of sheep. <laughs> 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 Vision here's got a point. Now, listen up. Got some top secret intelligence for you. Oh, excellent. Now, you know how Johnson's been bragging about that tree house he built for his kid? Yeah. It's a prefab job. <laughs> <laughs> that blockhead can't even swing a hammer. That's all, that's all. <laughs> you know those bowling trophies Arthur's always polishing? He bought them all at a yard sale in Hackensack. <laughs> Just dad gossip. <laughs> I too have some top secret gossip to share. Okay, what is it? Norm, here's a communist. <laughs> <laughs> what he actually is though. You're a real cutout. You know, I always thought you were kind of a square. Me? No, I'm as round as they come. Care for a stick of big red? Oh. Well, hold on there a second. Didn't you hear the man? He doesn't eat food. Is gum food? Well, my <laughs> understanding is that it's purely for mastication. Oh, no, I don't do that. <laughs> uh, well, when in Westview, cheers. <laughs> Who knew you were such a funny guy? <laughs> and to think you came here all hot and bothered about protocols and nonsense. <laughs> we actually thought you were serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, no. Oh, he got his gears. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> And that is why you never do a seating chart on an empty stomach. You're a whiz at all this committee stuff, Dottie. Thank you for choosing me to help you clean up today. I feel so lucky. I can't help but wonder if you and I haven't gotten off on the wrong foot, Dottie. And I would like to correct that if I can. And how would you do that? I've heard things about you. You and your husband. Well, I don't know what you have been told. But I assure you, I don't mean anyone any harm. I don't believe you. <laughs> What's wrong with her? <laughs> Help me, Wanda. <laughs> Who is that? What is going on? 
Who are you? Wanda. Wanda. He's doing this to you, Wanda. 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 Oh. Wanda. Whose voice is that? Oh. Yo, she cut herself. And it's red. It's like when she's seeing something that's like showing her a glimpse of reality, like blood, helicopter, something. Pop quiz, Wanda. Like bringing her back How or something. How does a housewife get a blood stain out of white linen by doing it herself? <laughs> I was gonna say grease lightning. Huh? That was weird. They say a man is never fully dressed without two important accessories: his special lady. That's the same people from the last commercial. His trucker. Strucker. He'll Hydra. Yo, that's a Hydra advertisement. And the Red Skull sign. What's up with these random advertisements? Yo, maybe like Hydra won and they took over like the government and the media. And oh, all that. yeah. So they're like doing all this propaganda. Oh, but you're going to be great. Because <laughs> he's good. <laughs> I don't know where he could be. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's malfunctioning right now. Oh, oh no. Is that him? Oh, it looks like he's got a little hitch in his giddy up. He looks drunk, don't he? <laughs> Wonder my little cabbage, you looks smashing. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and the boys were playing a rather thrilling game of horses of shoes. No, that's not it. Shoe horses. Something strange happened with Dottie. What is going on? You are. I was oh, game no. Time. Oh, no. I want to thank you all coming out to support Westview Elementary for the children. For the children. Where's the children? The final act, I give you Wanda and Vision. <laughs> hey, hey, you're up, cowboy. She looks like someone from like Barnacle and Bailey or something. Like the old circus. Barnum. Is that what it is? Yeah. Barnum and Bailey. Good afternoon. It's so lovely to be. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I am glamour and he's illusion. <laughs> yeah, what she said. Today, we will lie to you and yet you will believe our little deception. Because human beings are easily fooled due to their limited understanding of the inner workings of the universe. <laughs> what? You just do it. You don't say it out loud. <laughs> he's a flourish. <laughs> In your dumbstruck little faces. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand the inner workings of the universe. Oh, she's there. There you go. <laughs> huh. See there? He's using a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. Oh, oh, what the oh, let me down. <sighs> she just what? winched him down. A staggering feat of strength. Oh, <laughs> he's just showing his skills. Uh, illusion. <laughs> Master of Enigma. Allow me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she made a girl. <laughs> Whoops! You weren't supposed to see how we did that trick. <laughs> that was my grandmother's piano. <laughs> how they do that? Pipe down, Sherby, and pick a card. Any card. Yeah, put it back in the deck. I'm not looking. All right. Watch this. Is this card? Uh, no. <laughs> I beg to differ. Mm -mm. <laughs> is this your card? 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 Oh, it is. It is what? It's my card. Pardon me, Herb. Have it back. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to that? <laughs> From the next trick. Oh, oh, who stole my hat? Oh, oh. There's gonna be some type of payoff for all this, and I can't wait for it. <laughs> Senor Scratchy's got real star quality, don't you think? <laughs> I will just have to pull this hat out of myself. I didn't know. I'm doing it. What is he trying to accomplish here? <laughs> I guess bubblegum in his system is the equivalent of him being like on drugs or something. <laughs> oh! <laughs> is that how mirrors work? <laughs> I was about to say that just still doesn't make any sense. I at know, all. but they just did it anyway. <laughs> and just went with it. I bring you Magnetic Christries! The Cabinet of Mysteries. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the Magnetic Christries. <laughs> I will now make my wife disappear. You don't want an audience volunteer named My Husband Ralph? <laughs> 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 he said no. <laughs> They're definitely gonna win this talent show. Only because Wanda's saving the day. <laughs> well, they probably think that he's putting on like a great act. It's gonna be Thanos <laughs> <laughs> or Magneto, her dad. 
Oh. oh. She's just as surprised <laughs> as they are. <laughs> That's good. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I have no idea. I've been feeling weirdy all day. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 it has a smiley face on. Well, would you look at that? That really gummed up the works, didn't it? Uh, it's just like a walking cornball room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as funny without it, am I? <laughs> now let's get out of here before Dottie and the planning committee string us up for ruining the show. <laughs> They're trying to hide. <laughs> you two, stop right there. Nothing like what you two just did up here has ever happened in the history of our talent show. So they won. <laughs> we are so... So. Hilarious! <laughs> that was the most hilarious act we've ever seen. Wouldn't you all agree? <laughs> <laughs> oh, y yes! <laughs> so come on up! Come on! I would like to award you with the inaugural comedy performance of the year. They're definitely not staying low key in this town, are they? Mm mm. They pulled that off. This is making me so antsy because I just don't know. I feel like something terrible is going on, like in reality. Like it's actually bad. Like this is like so wholesome because something bad. Wait, she's a prisoner in her mind because he's you dead. I thought. That's where you illusion. So maybe she's just living <laughs> her fantasy. Maybe she always yeah, wanted to grow up I'm in the fifties so or something. About. It wasn't so hard to fit in after all. And all we had to do. Be well, well, time has passed because there's like a phone, right? And it was all for, for the, the children. children. <laughs> they had phones then in the 50s. Oh, <laughs> baby. <No wonder. laughs> I wonder. I think there's this different style now. It's like it's different a little bit. That's why I'm just it's changed from last episode. Vision? Is this really happening? Yes, my love. Oh, I forgot they went under them sheets. If it's that damn tree again, I am going to rip it up by the roots. But she like got pregnant fast. Like she's in her like second trimester. It looks like. Well, that was some insta pregnancy. I don't see anything. It's a ninja turtle. <laughs> what is it? Dude, this show is creeping me what out. What in the heck, man? A beekeeper? For what? No. No. Vision, is this really happening? That's when yes. she just figured out she was pregnant. What in the world? They said, reverse, reverse. I don't know if she did that or they did that. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> what in the world? What? This is like giving me chills for some reason. Like a confusing. weird way. Yeah. This is very bizarre. I'm kind of glad. Bleh. I'm kind of glad we got some color though. Yeah. And it's very vibrant. Oh, she's wearing red because she's Wanda. She's a Scarlet Witch. Wanda. Who's doing this to you, Wanda? What the heck? Wanda. Now in color. Next one up. Okay, guys, just letting you know, this is very confusing so far. Because she's the only one that survived, right? See, yeah, this is 70s. Is this like Brady Bunch? Yeah. Yeah, even like, yeah. <laughs> the way they're using the like the shapes and stuff, it's so 70s. Mm -hmm. So is everyone around them too, that's kind of cool. But if this is 70s, this is throwing me off even more though. Yeah, it was probably like 50s, 60s, 70s. They don't have a baby yet. I don't know. In color. <laughs> <laughs> they can still make shows like this. They just choose not to, that's crazy. Yep. Definitely pregnant. Oh. <laughs> well, well we figured. just kind of taking this by surprise. I mean, we, we, how did this happen? When a man and a woman <laughs> love each other very much. <laughs> well, we're just tickled pink or blue. <laughs> You're at about four months now. Is that right? He said no. <laughs> he said no. Not as much. We let the little ladies keep tabs on their growing babies with fruit. At four months, the fetus is about as big as a pear. At five months, a papaya, six grapefruit, seven pineapple, eight honeydew. <laughs> Speaking, what size fruit would it be at, say, 12 hours? 
Uh, pardon? Twelve hours. Hypothetically speaking, every new father-to-be gets nervous. Well, I have nerves of steel, so there goes your theory, Mr. <laughs> Dr. Sir. Vision, why don't you see the doctor, Al? Thank you so much what? for dropping by, Dr. Nielsen. Their house is crazy. I'm just glad you caught me in time. I'm taking the wife on vacation this afternoon. Oh, have a nice holiday. Hey, up. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> just between us, because uh, I'd like to keep the news just in the family for right now. Of course. Mum's the word. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Hub. Think you might have taken the head strumming a little too far there, old chap. <laughs> so I have. Thanks, buddy. See, this yeah. is so strange. I mentioned it. It's like designed so to make me feel very anxious for some reason. Uh, whoa, no. <laughs> have I? <laughs> I can't tell from this angle. I can't wait to be a proud papaya. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Bro, that would save us so much time, fellas. I know. Oh my gosh. Overwhelming urge during pregnancy to clean, organize, and prepare the home for the new baby. See, you're an expert already. We've got nothing to worry about. Well, nothing to worry about outside of morning sickness, mood swings, aching back and feet. Darling, you should probably sit down. Don't be silly. <laughs> All I feel is excitement, happiness, and... <gasps> oh! Kicking? Already? And it's kind of fluttery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I do that? I didn't need to. Oh, oh, darling. Oh. Hello, little fella. <laughs> well, if that was the first kick, that puts you at about six months. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to meet you, little Billy. Billy? Mm -hmm. I was thinking Tommy. Just a nice, classic, all-American name. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> then there's Billy, isn't it? Named after William Shakespeare. All the world's a stage. All the men and women merely players. Well, I guess there's only one solution to this debate. Hope for a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we ought to decide soon. I estimate the baby's due. Gresham is seemingly logarithmic, but were I to graph the fetal development... Like tomorrow by eight. He's gonna be here before you figure it out. The nearest I can conclude is that Biddy... Tommy. Mm -hmm. It's due Friday afternoon. In three days? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I think we have an understanding. Start the clock. <laughs> Time. Your personal best. Yes. We are nothing if not prepared. Oh. Done? Ooh. <laughs> Do any of your books talk about this? It's uh, not a painful, but a strange. A tightening sensation? Like yes. contractions or something? Yeah. Constant Hicks contractions, also known as false labor, usually starts in the third trimester. <gasps> Named after John Braxton Hicks in 1875. Honey. Excellent. Gives us a chance to work on our breathing exercises. <laughs> it should go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not working. I can still feel it. <laughs> oh, she has the contractions. The house starts going haywire. Do you hear this weird music in the background? It stopped. I'll go check on the neighbors. Yes. <laughs> Phil, do these earrings make me look fat? Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that the whole block is out. But it's more than that, isn't it? This room, this is hard. Dinner. Outside with her. I think something's wrong here, one. Tell us. Yes, I know what you mean. What the hell? The truth is, we are in uncharted waters. And you know what? I'm anxious to- He got like censored. We just don't know what to expect. Yo, it's like they- Will the baby be human? Cut it and rewound it. Oh, synthesoid, a bit of both. If he's anything like his mother, Billy will be perfect. You mean Tom? <gasps> oh no, darling, are you all right? This is a real one. <laughs> I thought you said Friday. After. He's floating. <laughs> it makes me kind of miss shows like that 70 show. Yeah, because they're like corny. <laughs> right. But they're so funny. <laughs> Her water broke? Yes, My water just broke. Yo, the metaphors. Yes, That's crazy. So she was having contractions and he started floating. Yeah, that same lady from the other commercials. Do you need a break? You read my mind. <laughs> Come with me. Escape to a world all your own. Where your problems float away <laughs> when you want to get away. But you don't want to go anywhere. Hydra Soak. Hydra Soak. Find goddess within. They're selling everything right now. Well, mm -hmm. I was just reading about the advantages of water births. <laughs> Let me help you up here. Oh. There you go. Oh. oh. What a mess. 
<laughs> Tried everything. Oh, darling, do you think it's time to call the doctor? Yeah. Oh. Yes, I do, dear. Damn, the phones are down too. I better run. Well, in fairness, darling, the baby is approximately nine months old. <laughs> better leg it. He's about to go to Bermuda. <laughs> Fashion statement? But first, I gotta borrow a bucket. Not to wear, to use. <laughs> Somehow, all the pipes in my ceiling burst at once, and I gotta bail myself out. All right. I would be panicking so much harder. I know, she's just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just here under the sea. <laughs> Are you all right in there? Yes, I am just looking. Ow. <laughs> oh. Would you look at that? What? Fruit. Wanda. Thank you. Good luck with the leak. Oh, that. Oh, say, Wanda, I've got a question for you. You know how I've been working that temp job, right? Well, my boss, Mr. Haddix, he was going crazy yesterday. <laughs> That's my girl. Yesterday. <laughs> What's that thing called? Like a stork or something? Mm, they're the ones that drop off the babies at your door? Yeah. It's 10 minutes before the big freezing time. <laughs> and Mr. Haddix has got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dancing. I feel like someone's messing with them. <laughs> like she's in some type of program. They just loaded in a stork or something. Yeah. <laughs> to see what she's going to do about it. <laughs> did you did you hear that? No. It was like a, a, a chattering sound. Like <laughs> That's That's mimicking ice maker. Built right <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you're fancy. That was probably advanced for that time. I'm helping Mr. Haddix do us. Oh, yes, but you know me, Wanda. I keep my cool no matter what's going down. So I look at the client, and I look at Mr. Haddix's feet floating in the air next to me. Oh, she's got fish on me. Gravity O's. Launch into your day the right way. Yes, that's exactly what Mr. Haddix said. Right before he told me to clean out my desk. He didn't fire you. Oh, sugar. He hired me. Oh. <laughs> Wanda, I landed a promotion. And now that I've gone all corporate, I need some office supplies. Do y'all still keep those in your spare room? Mm -mm. I was hoping oh, no, no, no. In my oh, oh. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Oh, a stork. Yes, I can explain. <laughs> no, the crib. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Another one. Coming. The baby's coming. You're oh. pregnant? Oh. <laughs> Bermuda awaits, and my car decides to poop out right at this moment. Mr. Vision, well, is everything okay with the wife? So long as we hurry. Oh, no, is he going to know? But Stan, what about my brand new two-piece? No, there's not enough time for that. Relax, relax. Ah. The vacuum. She's not saying anything about the house going crazy, though. It's like she knows. Oh, she's possessed. Oh, she realizes now. <laughs> I, I may be late to the party, but I imagine there is a logical explanation for that. Oh, it's perfectly natural. Hey, hey, you're doing great. You're doing great. Look at me. Look at me. Come on. Yes, you can. You can do this. It's time to start pushing. You ready? <laughs> Oh. Oh no, I missed it. <laughs> Second too late, dude. Hey, Doc, why don't you help me out in the kitchen there? We went so fast, it was <laughs> like we were flying. <laughs> oh, well done, Wanda. Well done. Do you want to meet your son as yourself? Hello there, little Tommy. What if the baby <laughs> keeps growing that fast, though? That's scary. And he's growing in like two weeks. Yes, Tommy. Oh, he didn't go with Billy. Oh, there's more. She's got twins, triplets. <laughs> that one's Billy. Oh, yeah. What if it's a girl? 20 fingers and 20 toes. You've oh, no. <laughs> two healthy baby boys. How's she up just walking around like that, though? <laughs> All in a day's work. And thank you. Just casually at home birth. <laughs> young lady. I think Not a stain in the carpet. What it takes to be a nurse. I do owe you a debt of gratitude. <laughs> well, Dr. Nielsen, I hope you're still able to make your trip. I don't think we'll get away after all. Small towns. So hard to escape. <laughs> what? 
That was odd. I know, that was like creepy. Maybe they sabotaged his car? Howdy, neighbors. Right. Did you lose power too? Oh, sure did. But Ralph looks better in the dark, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, poor Ralph. Hey, buddy. She's over there flirting with her. <laughs> well, I'll get back to Wanda. Vision, is Geraldine inside with Wanda? Yes, why? Can you believe it? <laughs> twins. <laughs> I'm a twin. I had a brother. His name was Pietro. Ultron. Yeah, she doesn't have an accent in this one. You know, she's like Russian in all the other ones. Mm -hmm. He was killed by Ultron, wasn't he? So she definitely knows. Right. They know. What did you say? She's new to town. Brand new. No family. No husband. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Look at the background. No home. What? What did you say? Just now. You're such a strong lady. Should I say it one more time for good measure? What did you say about Pietro? She wasn't supposed to. Hey, I'll take a shift rocking the babies. No, I think but we like, should leave. Oh, wow, did she want to say that or is she being forced not I to? I don't know, that's what I'm thinking, I don't know. <gasps> Same <laughs> symbol. <laughs> oh my gosh. She came here because. Because. Came here because we're all. She came here because we're all what? What are you trying to tell me? That symbol. Who are you? She came here because we're all- Stop! Who what? are you? Well, I better get going. That macrame is not gonna hitch itself. Up. <laughs> 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 get you on the flip side, bitch. He just stands out there all day with those things. And it didn't even look plugged in anything. Wanda? I don't know, y'all. Where's Geraldine? She had to rush home. Did you see that? Not really. What did I miss? It just changed, like, see, it's like changing the- Oh, like the is getting aspect wider. ratio, yeah. bringing it into more of a cinematic type shot. Like way the way it shot now. So this isn't the '70s at all. What is going on up in here, man? This is giving me some bang. Look, some trickster. Wait, 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 wait! Rewind that. Rewind that. Real quick. Back it up. Back it up. And pause it real quick. What is that? Um, it looks like some type of digital interference. Yo, so obviously something's going on with this. Like, there, she's like trapped in some type of mental TV show or something. Uh, something. Something. All right, guys, that was WandaVision episode one through three. Baby, what did you think about this show? I just thought there's way more questions than there was answers given to us throughout all three of those episodes. Right. What do we even say to I, that? I don't know. Right? Like, that's the thing. Like, there's so much I could think right now, but like we just need to watch more to really know. Like, I yeah, Jay told me he said, "Keep in mind, man, uh, no spoilers, but this takes place pretty soon after Endgame." So he said, "Like, think of like weeks, maybe months, right. like so very close to Endgame." Right. So think about that type of timetable. Um, as far as I know, man, we find we find Wanda. I don't know what happened, man. Like, I guess she woke up in this black and white world and. It's like a TV show or something. It's but like, her and Vision were like married from the very beginning, but it didn't show their wedding or anything. They just were married and they were brought into a house. They right. didn't even remember anything. They didn't have like r even rings. And they were like okay with that. Right. I it's mean, not like they were instantly just overwhelmed with questions and feelings like something's not right. Like mentally, it, it seemed like an outside factor, even if it was Wanda, she like created a false reality in her right. head. And, and I like, thought it was like her version of heaven. At first, maybe, maybe that's what I thought until I saw those commercials, and then I thought for a while it was just yeah. There ain't like, about to be no pop up right, advertisements right, in heaven, bro. right? <laughs> like, like, I'm so and sorry. they're not Hydra advertisements at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to me, it's something that because you know I thought Hydra was dead after agents, uh, not a not agents, but the shield. Remember, it collapsed, and then Hydra right. was gone. Right. So maybe not. Maybe they went underground, infiltrated. Right. Dude, my leading theory, like if I really had to say like what I think is going on, um, I think ultimately because you know how powerful she is, mm -hmm. like Wanda is extremely powerful, right? So the only thing I can really think is the only way to beat her is to make her somehow like forget that she's fighting. So maybe they found a way to like entrap her in her own mind. And maybe that's what this whole thing is about. You think about. she's like just stuck somewhere like, and they're like messing with her head? Yeah, maybe because we saw like a military compound at the end right? of the Right, and right? it had a projection screen. Almost so. like, I don't know exactly what that's about. I don't wanna project. Right. But let me just say that it seems like she is trapped. 
Right. That's the vibe I'm getting. She's trapped in her head. But the thing is, is vision too. That's but the there's thing. external factors inside of her head. So if it was all her mental projection, then why would there be outside people? And why would are, that lady be like thrown there? I understand exactly, but I understand that these characters could be like projections of her imagination, right? Right. And I can understand that like even her imagination can make those characters break character in her imagination and ask her questions. But the show really did make it seem like those characters existed in that reality with mm -hmm. her. It didn't seem like it was as simple right. as a projection of her imagination. I feel like that Agnes lady was is there to like if she starts to get suspicious, just distract her. Doesn't it seem right. like that? She's right? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like she's really in on it. But so was that last lady because she got thrown and she had that. I don't know, guys. And I she was cool with it, right? Like right. that's what I'm saying. Like I'd be, I'd be tripping. Like I'd be on freaking Xanax or something. So it's like, like I'd she be knew, something. like when she didn't, she like opened her eyes and she wasn't like, oh, where was there's a military, right? She's like she knew. It's so. almost like she like kept it together for right, the crowd, hundred percent. Right, right. So I'm wondering if it's like pro which, propaganda for like people to watch, uh, which like further, further like broadens my point, like. That's why I don't, I'm not sure if it's all inside of her mental because there seems to be external factors like AKA other people that are like making conscious decisions to like keep the facade up. Right. It's weird. Right. I don't know. But Whatever. they seem kind of glitched out though. Cause that herb guy, when he was like, Hey, you're like cutting in my brick wall or whatever. And he's like, Oh yeah, I am. Just keeps doing it. Well, it's almost They're like, like the something. reality that they were put in or whatever the case may be. This reality is supposed to mimic like. A sitcom. Yeah. And in a sitcom, there's always like dumbass dad next door right. who just like, oh, I'll put the hedge trimmers on the transmission again. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just always some dumb dad, right? Like but they're the like trying to make it enjoyable to like for someone to watch, it feels like. They're like, it's like being produced for something. Have you ever been so confused watching a movie on the show? No, because I, I feel like show? I feel like I should know a little bit. Like I'm sitting here thinking of the clues. Like I'm thinking of the helicopter, the the cut hand yeah like what's going on with all like these, why like, are those color and... why were those colorful and why did was someone saying why are they doing this to you wanda why are they doing this on the radio yeah that's a whole other thing like i can't even begin to like try to like someone trying to communicate guess. with yeah. her like obviously obviously like her being in black and white and then she was seeing shades of color so maybe that just maybe that's as, as simple as symbolism or Maybe there's actually something really real to that, but maybe she's just like starting to see the bigger picture. So she's starting to see the colors. Why are they know. going through a timeline? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. And like, is vision alive? Is he dead? I know. They can't, they can't, they can't communicate. Like they tried to make a very basic communication early in the show. Like, uh, it's, it's, there's a heart on today. Well, Mr. Hart's coming over for dinner and she mistook it for their anniversary. So, they're obviously so confused and in such a dreamlike state that they're not even like, like we could never mix that up. Right. Right. I mean, it's just not possible. But they so. had to exist before being shown to have that set up. Right. Or maybe like the, maybe, maybe, maybe the minute that her, her consciousness went into this mode, maybe her very first thought was her being carried. Like maybe her very first thought was the very first scene. Wow. You know, maybe one minute she's in like, you know, base reality, which is real reality. And the next thing you know, she gets plugged into some type of program and then boom, she's sitting there playing this thing in her head. And, and it's weird. And it's like, it's like when vision was, I don't know, you know, how he was like saying like, yo, something's weird here. And then he was censored. You said, yeah, he, was it was weird, like, right? it was like, it was like, I thought our screen messed up. Cause it like, rewind it back immediately like i was like, almost gonna rewind it, yeah but I, was, I just too, I, I, was I, I was very close to being compulsive and like rewinding it but i was like i gotta let this play so there's out. someone like censoring them when they start to think about it because they threw that girl from another dimension or something because she was like thrown but she was like red like wanda like moved her it seems like if we were watching these in four episode blocks we'd have a lot more to talk about <laughs> i know, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? I know. So. but we can't you know <laughs> like it's nine episodes it just makes sense to do three so Absolutely. now we're left with like these cliffhangers but in a way it's kind of good guys because y'all had to deal with this so here we are <laughs> i don't know how much i love it but <laughs> i don't thing, love it either <laughs> but one thing is like well i'm loving the show i'm having yeah, I'm, fun yes but like Dude, I'm I'm loving it because I'm invested. I don't get me wrong, I would never turn it off. It's actually really entertaining. Mm. But I'm not gonna lie, dude. It's giving me this inner feeling of like angst and anxiety. And I know you just wanna be like, oh, I, I really know, need to know what's going know. on because I feel like it's not good. Like right. you know how when like Loki projected himself, 
Mm-hmm. When he was in prison, Loki projected himself. Yeah, he showed one thing, it meant another. And, and I know that ain't got nothing to do with this, right? But I'm just saying, man, that's the vibe I'm getting. Loki was a trickster at the end of the day, and somebody's playing tricks. Yeah, somebody. Why but is, it, oh, but ahead, it looks like, say? but it looks like someone in a in an advanced military position. Every every bad guy in this whole entire Marvel journey has been some advanced military. So I mean, nothing really changes there. I mean. So it's Hydra of some sort. Let's just say it's Hydra. Let's say it's, it's just really well, hard Hydra at this point. Well, it's know? hard because, you know, like as we were going through the MCU, I made this statement several times, you know, all right, guys, so we're watching Dr. Strange and Jordan's story. Uh, I guess the meaning of this movie is it's going to tie in, I guess, when we get to Endgame. You know, I kept saying that. Mm-hmm. Well, now that we're past Endgame, I don't know. We genuinely, that's why I was so excited to watch this. Like, I have no clue right. where this franchise is headed. So it's really hard to make predictions. But with that being said. it's not over yet, right? They're still building on it. The the whole journey, yeah, yeah. yeah for so sure, so we have no. Sure. W- this is exciting. We, but like, even we take it somewhere. But I'm assuming that like even by the end of this show, I'll have a significantly clear like direction of where I'm going. I mean, there's right. 365 degrees I could aim here. So we got to narrow it a little bit. But this didn't do any of that. This right. just gave me significantly more questions. <laughs> a lot of questions. A lot of questions. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon if you want more covers. Thank you for not interrupting me that time. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, a lot of fun, man. Uh, Guys, we're having so much fun. I, I say it all the time, but it all started with Iron Man. We are here at WandaVision, and I'm still just as confused as I've been since the beginning. So, um, Tell us your theories, guys. When you watch this your first time, tell us what your theory was on episode three, like going into the next week, because y'all had to do it on a week-by-week basis. There's probably all kinds of theories that we could have derived from those three episodes, mm-hmm. but I'm never going to put it together because we're just not wired the same, and it's really interesting to me if you guys share it with me also. So. Right. Yeah, basically. So. We like we like that. Absolutely. All right, guys. 